We begin tonight with an astounding number. More than 90 people shot in Chicago this holiday weekend. 90, including police officers and several children. CBS 2's Charlie Damar is live at Comer Children's Hospital tonight, where one of the latest victims is being treated. Charlie. Erica, good evening, and you can now add a 15-year-old boy to that grim and growing list brought here to Comer Children's Hospital and is still being treated here. Now, Chicago police, they have not released their official statistics and data for how many shootings and how many people have been shot this weekend, but by our tally, which uses CPD data, there's been more than 90 people shot in the city this weekend. 16 have died. As some of the city enjoyed holiday cookouts and the beach over the long holiday weekend. Tonight, Chicago police taped up yet another intersection. This one for a 15 year old boy shot Monday just before 6 p.m. near Marquette and Langley. The shots came from a car. More than 90 people have already been shot this holiday weekend. Last 4th of July weekend, 79 people were shot and 15 killed. Six were shot this morning in the Washington Park neighborhood, a 12 and 13 year old among the victims. The University of Chicago Medical Center forced to lock down for nearly three hours this morning after shots were fired right outside the ER. Nobody was injured, but several cars were shot up. One person was arrested. And overnight, two Chicago police officers were shot in the Austin neighborhood trying to disperse a crowd, they are expected to be okay. That 15 year old was brought here to Comer Children's Hospital in critical condition. Chicago police still looking for the shooter. We are live tonight from Comer Children's Hospital. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News, Erica. All right, Charlie, thank you.